Welcome back to the channel. Today, Bryce and I are 26 miles off of Marathon Fishing, the West Humps. Today, we're going after tuna. It's just me and Bryce out here, but guys, we got a special guest with us in their boat. We got the real 850 out of Panama City Beach. They came out here and uh, went to Marathon with us and were nice enough to come out here and follow us all the way out here. So, no, me and Bryce are not out here by ourselves. We got the real 850, but we're t trying to target tuna and dolphin. Hopefully we can get a good fish, but the water out here is absolutely beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. They got a sweet pathfinder. You can see that's a good shot of them right there going past right there. But uh, hopefully guys, we can get on some big tuna. Let's go fishing, Bryce. You ready to go fishing? Are you ready to go catch a tuna? We've never caught a tuna before on the boat, but uh, hopefully we can do it today. There's one. That's it. Got him, Bryce. Fish on boys, fish on. Bryce was ready to go. Slow pitching. Hopefully this one doesn't get sharked. The way that we're doing this is that we're at the humps. We're going to the far, I guess that would be <laughs> south end of the hump and then floating north with the current. And at the top of the hump, it's 500 feet. And so I tried dropping down all the way to five and slow pitching off of it, didn't get any luck, but I uh, was able to get it when I went to 300. And trying to get this one all the way up. Fish on, telling real 850 that uh, we got a fish on. Last one. Got sharked, so we'll see if we get this one up without it getting sharked. It'd be freaking awesome, right, Bryce? We might be having tuna tonight. Yeah, and then I'm not gonna quite eat it. Yeah, it's still pulling, so hasn't gotten sharked yet. Just trying to get it up fast as I can. Yeah, hopefully, oh, hopefully it doesn't get sharp. Yeah, get down if the whole not get sharp. Yeah, eat all, all in the shark, also eat a shark. You're gonna eat a shark? Yeah, I'm not shark This goo rod I got for the slow pitch has a lot of backbone to it. They always say to, all right, Bryce, we got our first tuna. There he is. Oh, it's a beautiful one. We can eat it. We can eat it. Where? Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's the gaff? Get the gaff. Right here. Right here. Just get that gaff out. That's a good black fin. You get it? Oh, so hard. Uh. Oh my goodness. Cool. Uh. All right, good job. I got this. Uh. Uh. Here. Got him, Bryce! There he is! Woo we did it, man! What are you doing tonight? High five! Where's the, Where's the uh, D hooker at, Bryce? Uh, where's the green thing you were playing with? Yeah. Let me see it. Yeah, we'll catch another one. That, that one, I'm the fish. I'm the fish. That was the fish. That was the fish now. Oh, 
we got we got a bleed on. All right, so we're gonna bleed this fish real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and gut them too. There we go. Who's that? There's a the gut. There we go. Beautiful fish, guys. We're gonna get them on ice. Oh, Daddy, we're bleeding. I need a dog. All right, let's go stuff them. Really good with ice. Can I put ice in here? Yeah. Can I put ice in here? Yeah. Mommy. 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 Let's put ice in his tummy. I don't know if you're seeing that, but I'm putting ice in his stomach. It's really cold. Got another black fin tuna. Oh, that's awesome. We're trolling through all these birds up here. Hey, do you want one of these jigs? Yeah, I'll come get one in a minute. Let me go troll through these birds. All right, 10 4. All right, guys, so we've caught in two tuna so far, and I want to kind of show you how I'm doing it. One of the cool things that you notice when you come out to the humps, you see how the water is smooth on this side? and you can see right here we're just on the other side of the hump so what we're doing is we're coming up here and you can see our track we're going up here above the hump dropping down and then drifting down with it and i'm going to show you what i'm doing so i'm counting my line so i got different color line on my uh, slow pitch reel and each 30 feet the line changes and right above that hump it's around 500 feet and so i've been getting the most bites of around 200 feet off the bottom so what I'm doing is I'm counting down, I'm counting my line change for 10 times. And so each of it is uh, 30 feet, so at 10 feet, I mean, golly, I cannot talk. I'm just so excited about catching a tuna. So I count my line down by 10, and that puts me right around 300 feet. And we drift over it, and I'm just jigging up and down, slow pitch jigging, you know, just pulling it really high and dropping it, pulling it really high and dropping it, and we're getting hooked up. So. Hopefully we found a little pattern today, and hopefully we catch some more. That's right. So Bryce, now now that I got my first tuna, I'm gonna put Bryce on his first tuna and let him fight it all the way in. It's gonna be fun to watch. Yeah, we got a tuna on. We got a tuna, Bryce. All right, let's get him up. Oh, yeah. Not yet. Let's get him. Let me try to get him up as fast as I can. Then we're going to let you fight him to get your first tuna. Oh, yeah. Not yet. I want to see color. Yeah. Right. It's a tuna for sure. He's shaking his head. There he is. All right, here you go, fight him. Hurry up for a shark gets him. Put between your legs. There you go. Fight him, put that hand right here. Fight that tuna. There you go, Bryce. Bryce is hooked up with his first tuna. Hold him right there. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh. It's a baby one. It's a good one though. Oh. Good job. You yeah, can eat it. Yeah. That's your first tuna, Bryce. Yeah, yeah. All right, give me the um, the hooker. Okay, here you go. i take a picture with him, man. Right here. Hold up, hold up. Here. Hold him. 
big one, huh? Lift them up. Lift them up. Say cheese. Bryce with this first tuna. Good job, man. Let's put them on ice. There's one. Daddy. Fish on, guys. Fish on. We just hooked up again. Y'all got to come get one of these jigs. Oh, let me get it up and then you can fight it. Just to make sure it doesn't get sharp. Now? Not yet. That might have gotten sharp. <laughs> See how? No, it didn't. Yeah, it did. There's a shark. It That's a shark. Shark? Yeah. Bryce, this will pull you in the water. Hey, Dad. You put, put, put this. All right, I'm gonna stop the cameras while we fight this. When it gets a little bit closer, we'll turn the cameras back on. All right, it's coming to the boat. Look at that huge shark chasing it. Oh. Oh. Shark? You see that shark? Look at him. You see how big he is? He's right here, he's gonna come get it. That's the guy I was fighting. Look at him. Whew. You see him? That was a beautiful tuna. So guys, I gotta give a shout out to Matt Swigum at Salty Swigs and Brandon Collier at Captain Collier on YouTube. They're the one that kind of told me about the setup, the Guron and the Ocean Jigger. So I'm sure you guys already are subscribed to them. If you're not, go check them out. And also the Real 850 guys, really nice people. Fish mainly out of Panama City Beach. They're here with us, but really good people, really good fishermen, really knows the area really good in Panama City Beach. Hey guys, I just caught. Hold on, this is also, y'all probably hear this, my radio is going crazy. Let me talk. turn. Yeah, go ahead and talk, man. He said get the mic. Look at all these birds just out here. They are everywhere. We don't have any merch, man. This is a, a clothes. Our clothes? Yeah, the clothes are our merch. Yeah, we gave those away, though. You know something? I tied the boat that, I tied the, that turtle, I tied someone. 
we are back at the house. Bryce has already jumped in the pool. We've washed down the boat, but I want to talk about the setup I was using. So I have the Ocean Jigger 2000 NR XG. So this is a seven to one gear ratio. I got it paired up with a slow pitch jigging, six foot six. Um, what is that? Um, goo fish rod. And I also have it, well, let me put this right here. So I have it, 20 pound braid. This is Nomad braid. And you can see that it changes colors every 30 feet. That really helps out. And I have it tied to a 50 pound fluorocarbon with an FG knot. And the jig that I was using today that was like just destroying the fish was a Johnny Jigs. Got this all tangled up. It's a Johnny Jig and it was a 250 gram. I do not know the name of it. The I don't know if it actually even have a name of it. I think it's just by color. This is one of their vertical jigs. Slow pitch jig, vertical slow pitch jigs. And it has um, green and pink and it glows in the dark. Guys, I'm pretty new to this whole slow pitch jigging thing, but um, I am really loving it. So last time I came down to the Keys, saw some people doing it, didn't know what they were doing, but watched a whole bunch of YouTube videos and um, kind of got the hang of it. And it is a lot of fun. So if you don't do it, it's expensive to get into it. This fishing pole right here cost almost three or 400 bucks. I don't know if she heard me, but I think it's around three or 400 bucks. And the rod is actually very um, priced pretty reasonable. It's about 150 bucks. But um, it's a great setup, and uh, surprise, I was surprised how big a fish you can actually catch with them. Now that we kind of talked about that, we're gonna get the fish out, we're gonna clean them, and um, we're gonna cook up some tuna. Tell you what, we're three for three. Every time we come down to the Keys, we see a manatee. Uh, the neighbors right here, we're just giving it water, and it's filled up and just chilling out. All right, time to clean some fish. Oh yeah, so they sink. Put the eyeballs out of the carcass and it makes the carcasses sink. Where if you don't put the eyeballs out, they won't sink. Tuna has like a lot of meat on it. Ah, right, manatees right there. He is? Are you recording it? We have just got done cleaning the tuna and we went ahead and got all of our ingredients to cook it. So we're gonna be using a half a cup of brown sugar, 
That's not a half a cup. We're gonna be using a quarter cup of brown sugar, half a cup of um, soy sauce, and then about a half ounce of sesame seeds to get this tuna. So we made, we made sure our tuna slices are the right thicknesses for what we got here. Um, we cleaned them up and um, we're gonna get braley. Uh, you go ahead and brown the sesame seeds for me. The stove is already on. And then while she's browning that, I'm gonna go ahead and mix all these ingredients here. So I'm gonna pour in the uh, soy sauce. And some deep. Yeah, I'm gonna pour in the brown sugar. And mix it. And we're gonna mix it. I need a spoon. You wanna mix it? All right, you can come help mix. I'm gonna give it to you. And you can mix it. I want this too. Y'all take turns mixing it. Mm-hmm, mix it good. While they're mixing, I'm gonna check on the sesame seeds. Looks like they're starting to brown a little bit. Go ahead and toss them a little bit. Yeah, we're just trying to toast them. Looks good. I'm gonna put them back and see how they went from a white to a, a light brown. Move these back over. It look like. We got a light brown. Ew. <laughs> Where is that? All right, I'm gonna put this back on the stove. I'm gonna get Braley to get a stick of butter. All right, kids, y'all got it mixed well? Let me see it. All right. Uh, just a piece of it. Drop a piece in there. And I'm going to put the soy sauce on the tuna steaks. Sesame seeds. You can't see well, man. All right, get another chair, big boy. You, you're the big fishing man now. All right, we're gonna take it over here. We burnt the butter a little bit. I thought it was gonna be a little bit faster. We're gonna put in a little bit more butter. <laughs> Come on, big boy. Come on, move the chair over. You big. Don't put a game on. All right, you can stand right here. Oh, this, this is getting too hot. I gotta turn this down. All right, you ready? It's gonna. Y'all ready? Is everybody ready? All right, this was. You know, more than anything, it's more about making memories. And y'all better remember this. All right. It is like smoking hot, so it's gonna be like really hot. All right, how do y'all want y'all's tuna? Well done. I want mine however you make it. All right, medium rare. That's just really searing it on either side. And then, uh, wait, this is mine. So we'll do it, we'll cook one well done. We'll cook one rare. And see how we taste it. And see, and do a taste test. Yeah, but just like you know that. No, everybody. <laughs> You're not gonna like it rare. Only daddy's gonna like it that way. Mm -hmm. You're gonna like it that way? Mm -hmm. like, it smells good. It smells good? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Shannon? Behind the camera. Mm -hmm. Nervous. <laughs> this flip, this one's gonna be medium. <clears throat> hey Braley, can you get me a plate? Okay.
And this one's gonna be like medium rare. All right, so that's the medium rare one. This one's gonna be the well done one, and this is gonna be medium well done. So that means that it's like a steak. But it tastes really good. It's not cooked all the way through. Yeah. You don't have a good knife, like a good cutting knife. Mm. Mess that up a little bit. Yeah, it's good. Pretty good. It's not pretty good. It's awesome. Right, good. This one is well done. Me taste it first, I want to taste it. Mom should taste this one. Oh, come on. And not us? Alright. Mm. Oh, <laughs> no, come on, Shannon. You, you, you Shannon does not want to taste it. That means that she is scared. She ate cow tongue in Peru, but she won't taste tuna. Alright, well, really, go ahead. Her does want to be in video at all. I like this one better. You like this one better? You like well done better. I'm sure. I'm sure. We can try. I'm sure. I'm trying. I'm sure. Kind of like that one better too. Mm -hmm. Where's it taste like? I'm good. I would. It don't even taste like fish, does it? <laughs> good. That's good. Which one you like better? I like both of them. You like both of them? I like both of them too. This is pretty much well done too. I cooked that one a little too long. Let me try. Let me try. You want to try? Mm -hmm. It only tastes like steak to me. Are, are you getting everybody trying them? That's scary. Yeah, that's a big bite. <laughs> that was a huge bite. <laughs> I can't even drink my hand. Alright, guys. Well, it was a blast catching <laughs> Black Santana. What a great day. Great way to spend Father's Day. And even better to come back and cook it with the family. See you guys on the water.